What's going on today, guys? Me, Brick Dude here, bringing you another custom Lego Star Wars Rebels minifigure. This is Captain Rex, as he should have been made in Lego form, um, especially since he came out in an expensive set, $110, $109.99. Honestly, I think it should have been, you know, on, a, on a, like an Ultimate Collector Series type because they only came out with this set and these minifigures. Um, I did not destroy my old one, the original. I still got him here. He's all, you know, shiny, keeping him nice, as well as Gregor and Wolf. Um, with this figure, it's a Phase 1 Lego clone uh, torso that I sharpied, oops, sorry guys, there we go, uh, clone torso, Lego phase one clone torso that I sharpied right here, and then I just, you know, I had some gray here, because this was originally, um, Sergeant Hound's, uh, torso piece, so I just removed the gray and kept some there, um, moving on down to the legs. The legs are fully repainted by me in a darkish gray color to kind of match up with how Legos is. They're a little bit darker than normal, but that's okay. Um, the sides are painted all the way around, painted white, and then I added some yellow. The reference picture I used, they had yellow on the, the lower feet area here. Um, I gave him a Lego pistol. I just cut the scope and the back off right there. The scope's been cut off, and then I shaved it down, filed it down. Very nice and smooth. Uh, added white to the hands and some blue on the arms, hands, and the shoulders. Metal on the shoulders mixed in with some black right there, as you can see on the back as well. Um, same on the other side. Uh, let's see what else? Uh, I did give some weld marks here and here. Um, where's a good figure? Let me grab a figure. Whoa, sorry guys. Let me grab a figure here. Uh, use this guy again. This is the Imperial Hover Tank Pilot. A uh, very nice figure to have. I use this face on the the figure. So that's the original face I used, and that's what it is now. So. I'm very happy the way the figure face turned out, especially you know with the the beard mixed with the angry clone face. So I'm happy with that. It actually looks like Lego's um, design, only more broad or or broader. Um, I'm thinking what else I did. Uh, I gave. Skin color right here, right where the armor is curved. Same on the back as well. And then there's missing armor here as well. Accurate to him, as you can see there. So you can see the, you know, the missing armor up top of the chest there. As well on the back. And then, you know, right here as well. Um... So that's pretty much it for this figure. I will do a comparison video between the two. Um, I'm very happy with the way this figure turned out. And before I forget, guys, I did do a Clone Trooper Phase 2 hybrid helmet for uh, Rex. I just got to do the hash marks on here. I got to add some more to it. That's coming up. That'll be in the comparison video. I just have that here just for... Uh, just for the heck of it um the only bad thing is the head is glued in there so i can't you know put the helmet on top i have to take this rex's head off and redo it but all in all i'm happy with the figure let me know what your guys' thoughts are of my custom uh rebels captain rex down in the comments definitely like this video and definitely subscribe for more videos like this this lego man 213 out